You know what this is? This is a coconut. I just uh, bought it at the Safeway to make a point. My wife wanted to know why I came home with a coconut. And I said, I have a point to make about people's belief systems. I recently heard an interesting topic. I believe it was on the James Altucher show. And if you're not watching James Altucher, you should be. Uh, podcast and YouTube. If you're a creative person, you should be. This is a coconut. A coconut is a uh, very hard thing. I mean, you got to take a, a hammer to this thing to break it open. Monkeys do it all the time. Monkeys love coconuts, especially in the Philippines. But people like monkeys. And people hunt monkeys. I guess they'd be called monkey hunters, but I'm not sure I want to go there. It just sounds wrong. But monkey hunters use coconuts as their bait. You see, what happens is they dig a hole and they put the coconut at the bottom of the hole, just a little shallow hole, and then they put spikes around the hole so that the monkey can reach in and hold the, pup, the coconut. They can reach in and grab it, hold on to it. And then the monkey will never let go of the coconut, ever. The hunter just simply walks over and throws a bag over the head of the monkey pulls his hand, the monkey's hands back through the, the bar. The coconut lays there waiting for the next monkey to come along because the monkey holds on to the coconut and will not let go. It's in its DNA. It's part of the way they live. I thought about this on my motorcycle trip. Well, I thought about other things on my motorcycle trip too, not just monkeys and coconuts. Just so we're clear on that. Anyway, I, I thought about this and I thought how that works with people and creative people especially. Creative people get these coconuts and they hold on to them too. They go, oh, I'm too old to start a business. I'm too young to start a business. You know a coconut that really drives me crazy is the one when they go, they grab onto this, they go, well, you know, I'm an artist. I can never learn how to do business stuff. And they hold on to that stupid coconut of not being able to do business until they go out of business. When in reality, it's business. You're a creative person. Don't tell me you can't learn business. That's pure bullshit. And it's your belief system that operates like the coconut. Your brain won't let go. Not the hands. The hands can let the coconut. I'm going to put the coconut down before I drop it on my foot or break something. Your hands can let go of it, but your brain can't. Your brain just wraps itself around it and says, this is it. I can't learn business. I can't learn flash. I can't learn how to shoot manual. I can't learn how to do products. I can't learn how to build a portfolio. I can't learn how to cold call. I can't learn how to market. And that brain just wraps that brain right around that stupid coconut, doesn't let go. It's really a tragedy. Our brain will make happen what we tell it to make happen. So when we tell our brain, we can't understand business, our brain goes, yep, that's right. Gonna make you right. Everything our brain does is to make us correct. It makes us hold on to the beliefs that we tell it we believe. You know, a lot of people say, well, I'll believe it when I see it. Actually, you'll see it when you believe it. You want to be a successful, but a success. I'm not going to cut that out because it's just how I roll. Do you want to be a successful photographer, graphic designer, writer? Then do it and get rid of the coconuts that say, oh, I can't because 
fill in the blanks. I don't have enough money. Do you know how many people have started with nothing? Nothing. Oh, I don't have the right equipment. Got a camera? You got the right equipment. Well, it's not full frame. Very few people care. Well, it's not this. Or I don't have lights. There's a sun. And you can get a shower curtain for 10 bucks. Well, I don't have time. I hear that a lot. I don't have time. Yeah, you do. Time is a quantity of ethereal belief. Time isn't something you can hold. You can't grab onto it. It just keeps on rolling. And what you do with that time is your choice. Now, there may be some people who really don't have time. They might be working two jobs. Maybe they're single parents working two jobs with a couple of kids in school. That's tough. But you're still going to have a couple hours here and there. What do you do with them? Watch TV? Go down to the sports bar and watch a couple of overpaid athletes throw a football around? That's the coconut. That's just that coconut just in your hands because you can't, you don't believe it, so you don't see it, and you keep holding on to that coconut. Stephen Pressfield calls it resistance, and I think that's a really, really good name for it. The resistance coconut. And while you're holding on, somebody's going to walk over and throw a bag over your head and you'll fail. And you know what you'll blame? You'll blame the coconut for holding on to you. I couldn't do it because I couldn't let go of the coconut. I couldn't do it because I was too old or there's too many photographers in my town or I'm not sure what I want to do or I'm not, I, I could never learn how to do business or I don't have enough money and I'll whine and I'll whine and I'll whine. And you know, and I know, I'm sorry, that's just bullshit. That's the bullshit we tell each other when we want to blame something on our own stupid mistakes. We say, it's his fault. It was her fault. It was the economy's fault. It was the president's fault. How can I be successful with President Obama in the White House? How can I be successful with President Trump in the White House? How can I be successful if so-and-so gets elected? By just doing it, that would be the best way of doing it. Just, just do it. Gosh, that's a great slogan, slogan isn't it? Just do it. I, I'm going to contact Adidas and, and, uh, and see what they think. But anyway, don't let those coconuts hold you back. Start believing what you can't see. Start believing in yourself. Start believing in your portfolio. Start believing in the ability to learn what you need to learn when you need to learn it. And oh man, things will open up for you. They really, really will. They really will. When you believe you can be successful and you take all of those coconuts holding you back and you chuck them down the coconut hole, wherever that is in your town. So that's my little spiel on coconuts. Let go. Just let the hell go. See you next time.